Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What Sold video for you today. It is Saturday morning, and we actually had quite a few sales come through, so we're going to start pulling them. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy so we can do that. Yeah, I'm very happy to report. It feels like a normal day. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of these are going out to you, the viewers. So yeah. Thank you very much. Not only for the support, um, but I just feel like that kind of, when you guys are buying stuff from our eBay store, I feel like that just I think it does. It gives it like eBay. an algorithmic yeah. boost or something. It really feels like it, because as soon as like a viewer would buy something, I'd get another sale really quickly. Yeah. There, so. so guys, thank you so much for that. It's very unnecessary, but we do appreciate it very much, for sure. I also think we haven't done hauls in a while, and I think that helps. A lot of the stuff oh, that gotcha. we recently showed in some hauls have sold, I think, to viewers, so. Sweet. Maybe more hauls <laughs> in the future. <laughs> All right. Mm. Um, these little Tom, little, these women's Toms sold for $24.86 plus shipping. I did average my cost of goods this day, so it seems high at $10.97, but I must have got some really other, other really good pairs with these. Um, I'm still about doubling my money, though, even at that price. And they sold in about a day or two, so. Nice. And I see you have... Did you put that heart there? I did, because, yeah, the numbers yeah. didn't come off very well. Yeah, so if we're unable to get the numbers off, you know, we'll do something like that, yeah. <laughs> just to cover it up. All right. Let's do just a uh, regular mailer on that. Okay, AG. A Reesey guy right here. How you doing, Reese? You a good boy? <laughs> Amen's Under Armour Compression, just a basic shirt. I did buy this retail arbitrage for seven, sold it for 18 plus ship, so about doubling my money there, which for retail arbitrage, I think it's great. And just a poly mailer on that. Let's finish off these sendal mailers. The AU. These are the things I'm happy to get out, just bigger items to yeah. kind of get some space. Uh, these are a pair of Merrill Bear Flink. They're not barefoot, but they're like the bear access, so a little bit more of a minimalist shoe. Okay. Uh, I did pay $12.99 for these. These usually sell really fast, which these did. Sold for $41.46 plus shipping, so not too bad. On nice. eBay. Yeah, most of the sales today were on eBay too, which I'm happy about because eBay just seemed, I don't know, we looked at our number like our last week, which felt so slow. Yeah. But it was very steady. So it's they like were, we were getting the same. Very consistently yeah. slow. <laughs> Normally we'll have like a really slow well, day. Like the line was like this. So we were yeah. making the same amount like every day, which I think speaks to consistency. Right, right. Um, you can't really predict what eBay is going to do, but we were still getting the same amount of sales or dollars <laughs> at least every Dollar wise, day, yeah. So. Versus like some days it'd be like, you know, yeah. really low and some days it'd, we'd have a big, yeah. you know, spike, <laughs> so. So. That's how it is though. D-O, that's a closet box, huh? D-O. One of our new ones. Yeah, first out of the closet <laughs> boxes. Oh, these are hard to get to. Yeah. Uh, All right, these are actually going out to our viewer, Rachel. She said she saw these in a haul. Um, and she loves Vans for herself, so she had to snag these for her son. So, super cute. And got these at the bin, so $1.84 cost of goods, and sold them to Rachel for 24 plus ships. So thank awesome. you so much, Rachel. Rachel, thank you so much for that support. Hope your yeah. son loves them. I think those are cool looking shoes. Yeah, I love A little them. retro vibe. I had a hard time not keeping them for our kids. <laughs> um, they have so many similar shoes already. Yeah. I'll send those out in a rainbow mailer. Thanks again. Thank you, Rachel. All right, box A. Yeah, our boxes are so <laughs> full. <laughs> All right, this is a Jimbery vintage, like little overall. I don't know if this is a viewer, I can't, so. A lot of times it'll tell me like repeat buyer, mm -hmm. and I just assume that's a viewer. I mean, norm I guess I yeah. bought things from other stores that I don't know them, but Possible. I like their yeah. stuff. So, if you're a viewer, Tabitha, thank you. Um, but yeah, I sent an offer on this this morning, fifteen dollars plus ship, and Tabitha accepted. So awesome. 
Uh, this came out of Hope's mystery box, so I have no cost of goods at this point. So all profit after the eBay fee. Cool. Tabitha, if you do happen to be a viewer, thank you so much for that continued support. Thank you. All right, let's do a floral. Oh, no, that was... All right, this is going out to Destiny. Destiny, Retro by Destiny. Fellow YouTuber, Instagrammer, reseller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she said her daughter loved Elsa, so she saw that in our recent haul as well. Uh -huh. And had to snag it, so ten ninety five plus shipping. Thank you, Destiny. Destiny, thank you so much for that support. Yeah, and that came from the bin, so dollar eighty four into ten ninety five. That one, I'll grab a box from the closet. We always do hats and boxes mm -hmm. just to keep their shape. So, okay, top shelf area boots. <coughs> These guys. I did pay $24.99 for these at Goodwill, but I accepted an $80 offer this morning. So All right. I woke up to two offers on them, actually, because on Posh, like, if someone makes an offer, it notifies all the other likers, mm -hmm. which in turn got somebody else to offer, but their offer was $75, so I accepted the $80. Yeah. And, yeah, very happy with that. I think that's close to a $40 profit, so very happy. Very nice. Uh, it doesn't look like we... Are these the big ones? Oh, yeah, the 13 by 13 by 9. Yeah, and I don't even know if those would fit in there. So we'll yeah. find a box. But You said it was Poshmark, right? So yeah. we have kind of our, our pick to we choose from. We might have from. to make our own, but I heard a, it's, not a, it's not a sale. Not a sale? Just the sound. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find a box for that those boots. But. All right. So these cute little Hello Kitty native flats. Um, for $21 plus ship on Mercari. I got these out once upon a child the other day. They were priced at $4.50, but with my discount, I paid $3.60. So, not bad. Nice. And let's put those in the mailer. Okay, AP. No. AD. They are. A.O. <laughs> no. <laughs> Under Armour Storm. Let's see. I also... A.R. Oh was. was. Like, I don't even know what this is that I sold. I forgot. Uh. Okay. Um, yeah, I printed my labels last night because it's Friday night. And then mm -hmm. I was like, that way we can just wake up and do shipping. And then I had like at least 10 more. In the morning, yeah. through the night or this morning, so... And that okay. that whole wondering what box that's just because she her like, penmanship. <laughs> so you can see it's the a yeah it could be a p <laughs> or an r yeah it was or, an r. I think I, I might have said o at first. Who knows? Anyways, <laughs> we found it. Uh, this is an Under Armour Storm like I don't know. It, it looks it feels like a windbreaker, but it's short sleeve and it's like full zip. So I thought it was a cool shirt. I only paid three dollars for it. Sold it for twenty five plus ship on eBay. Very nice. Yeah. I think that's our last sendo mailer. I don't know why it makes me happy to like go through a hole. <laughs> to the last drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AT. Uh, that right there. These are some mini boat and little monkey cargo shorts. Got these at a local thrift the other day for 86 cents. That was my average cost of goods. Um, sold them for 25 free ship on Kitizen. They're under eight ounces, so shipping was only four fifty on those. Just the mailer again. Yeah, and those sold fairly quickly. I almost didn't buy them because they were like the older mini Bowden tag, but since my cost of goods was so low, I was like, even if they sell for ten bucks, that's worth it to me. Yeah. Macy, what are you doing? He just got out of his bed to get <laughs> right in the way. It's okay, Reese. We still love you. He's he's got more carrot like we got more carrots for him. Yeah. And uh, I know <laughs> he almost heard me. But now like whenever we have them in the house, he'll like pretend like he needs to go outside because I'll use them as a like come back in and get a treat, you know, like so he'll he'll pretend like he needs to go out. So he'll go out, turn right back around to come in and try to get a carrot. So we have to bribe him because he used to just jump the fence. So now yeah. we have to stand there and make sure he comes back in. <laughs> he's learned how to play the yeah. system. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, I feel like he's too old to jump the fence, but he's done it a couple months ago, so. Yeah, and I've noticed in the past couple weeks, he's been limping a little while, like, yeah, as he gets like, up he from laying down a while. Like he's not doing so well. He's getting old. All right. I sold these last Sportiva 
rock climbing shoes on Mercari for 40 plus shipping. I paid $9.99 for those. Uh, those are UPS, so I will grab a, well, do we have any of the brown ones? Yeah, just one of these guys. And I guess I'm sure the question's gonna come up, how old is Reese? How, mm -hmm. how old is he? He's, He's probably 12? 11 or 12, <laughs> yeah. We got him in 2010. I don't remember what month. Yeah, he was a, so. he was a pretty small puppy. Yeah, so. yeah, he was like six or eight weeks old when we got 12, him. Yeah, <laughs> so he's going on 12. Yeah. And he's just been sadder since our other yeah. friends have left. I heard my kid. <laughs> I heard him too. <laughs> DM there. I'm going to set this down because I know that other item is kind of heavy. And again, this one said repeat fire, and I feel like the name's familiar, Anita. Um, so I'm assuming you're a viewer. Thank you mm -hmm. again. If so, uh, she bought this two items from us. So Skechers, they're like a platform slipper mule. Mm -hmm. And then these Craft and Borrow New with Tech pajama pants. So my total into both items is $14.76. Anita bought them for $43.91 plus shipping. So thank you so much. Awesome. Anita, thank you so much for that support. I'm pretty sure you're a viewer and yeah. we uh, yeah, we do appreciate that support. Familiar. Yeah. It's like, I mean, a lot of you viewers have the same names. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah, we have more than one remember. Anita as a viewer. Yeah. But um, Kathy did ask me and I was like, yeah, I think yeah. I'm pretty sure she's Commented I like, don't want to like not remember. But I know. It's starting to get harder and it harder is. to remember. It is, and especially for me, <laughs> I you know I'm like I'm 35. I'm going on 36 this year. My memory's bad as it is. <laughs> so if we forget or don't mention anything, guys, we're sorry. <laughs> but we try to remember, and, and I don't know. I don't. Nobody's told us that. Hey, you didn't let me know. Like that hasn't happened yet. And so. Yeah. Um, it probably has happened though. You guys are too kind. <laughs> you are. Um, so I need to start shipping out in like a 13 by 13, which we need, we need to get. Yeah, I think we might have some in our closet over there, but we'll have to. So busy. We'll restock those boxes one of these days. Busy. Okay, this is a little Hatley ice cream swimsuit. Got this retail arbitrage for $3.50, sold it for $20.71 plus shipping. Not bad, and actually that's not so small. Oh yeah, we got little half mailers. Yeah, these that we hardly have a I think I have them under the Tyvex. Okay, right here. Nope. Or under the, <laughs> they're under another, but yeah. <laughs> Since we rarely use them. Nine. Yeah, I bought those when I used to do a lot more kid clothes. They fit really like kids' t-shirts and stuff pretty well. But mm -hmm. I also got like 500 of them for like so Super cheap. cheap. So. Yep. Super okay. cheap. All right, box Z. This is a your sale. Right, this is going out to Jennifer. Little croc she saw in our hall. Wanted to get him for her grandson. Um, I have 440 into these from Once Upon a Child. Sold them for 1739 plus ship. So thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you so much for that support. We appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I love this mailer. <laughs> okay. And DN, I think this is a viewer as well. Again, no note, but said repeat buyer. Right. And the name sounds right. Really <laughs> Uh, <laughs> too many black shoes in one box. Yeah. Um, I need to go to the phone because I'm listing them today, but I forgot to take a photo of the size on them. So. Gotcha. Put those there for now. And then these are what's sold to Tracy, who I believe is a viewer. Um, they're the Earth Cow so like meals from our recent Bensol. So $1.84 into them, sold them to Tracy for $25 plus ship. So thank awesome. you so much. Tracy, Tracy, thank you so much for that support. We appreciate it. Those are actually under a pound. So I think they should fit in a normal size. But if not, I'll grab probably a doggy mailer. I like this one. It's like, this one's really thick. I like that mm. for shoes. For shoes, yeah. Okay. Um, box U, I think. 
<laughs> Again, my idea. Yeah. So, another one of those Adidas 3X shirts. Pay 10, sold for $20.71 plus shipping. Probably netting around $8 on that. It's an easy poly mailer. Okay, box R. This was Polar Ralph Lauren. Just a basic t-shirt, but in a larger size. Um, I believe I bought this for Chris. I think he wore it a few times. At this point, I like let him wear stuff a few times and then take it from him. He actually folded this other day and he's like, is that my shirt? So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I sold his shirt for $18.26 plus shipping and I think I paid no more than like $3 for this. So still making some profit. And yes, I sold your shirt. Does that mean I get like a, a dollar to spend, a dollar to save and yeah. <laughs> a dollar <Yes>. to donate? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to Kevin over at the Commonwealth yeah. <laughs> with his free child labor. No. I can't wait for our kids to get that old. I'm just saying. He's got it made over there. No, <laughs> We're just messing with you, Kevin. <clears throat> yeah, I actually love that he does that with yeah. his kids. I wish we <laughs> I'll were tell you better what. like that. Yeah, if our parents would have taught us something like that, we'd, we'd probably be better off today, you know, yeah. as far as <laughs> saving and, and giving and being intentional with your money, right? Yeah. We learned that too late, well, earlier than most, but yeah. <laughs> later than we probably should have. So something we're definitely gonna instill in our kids. Yeah. <laughs> so for real, shout out kid. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, I did sell this Columbia PFG, I, I can't read it, but I think it's 16. I My 16 looks like an 18, but I remember it. Were you having wine last night or something? I <laughs> no, I don't even like wine. So. <laughs> This sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping. It was a retail arbitrage fine for five, so yeah. I'm probably profiting around eight dollars on that, which I think is great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, A N Hurley shirt, another retail arbitrage. So these this are side. the ones that I found for like a bunch, you know, five, anywhere from five to ten bucks. All these retail arbitrage stuff. And, you know, I buy them with a goal to at least double my money. With retail, yeah. Yeah, I mean, on the $5 ones, I want to more than double unless I have, like, a hundred, like, a whole bunch. Right. Um, so, like, this one I bought for five. It's just a Hurley. And I sold it for 19 plus ships. So, that's actually a pretty decent little profit. Yeah. Um, I don't think I had a multiple of that exact one, but I did buy, I want to say, like, 50 Hurley shirts that day. So, mm -hmm. they were super easy to process through. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. Sweet. <laughs> okay, AO. Right over here, right next to AN. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Meryl. All right. Yeah, on our video yesterday, I mentioned um, someone on Posh asked if I could resend an offer I had previously sent. And she hadn't bought yet during yesterday's video, but then she did just after. So these were those sandals. Uh, they're Merrill. Bought them for $4.99. Sold them for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. So Very nice. Not bad. Those are going to go in a regional A flat. If I got one. So we do get the question quite often, why are we using regional A's and stuff? We use them almost, regional A's and B's, almost exclusively for uh, Poshmark. So yeah. on the labels, it does say that you can use flat rates and regional boxes. So we use them. Yeah. I just, they're a little bit different sizes than yeah. typical. So it's just nice to have the right. We try to have the item fit the box as, as yeah, well as we can. Like void fill in it. Right. Less void fill, easier shipping for USPS. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My thing is saying these Crocs are on the rack, but I don't see them, so that's not good. Do you see? Oh, they're there. There they are. Okay, these are a pair of men's Crocs. Really nice, actually. They look brand new. Um, and the top is actually real leather, so I thought oh. that was cool. And the motto, these are called like the Bottega or something. Okay. Um, I'd never sold this before, but when I, lo I looked up comps on these, if they were just the typical non-leather top, I would have listed 
around 30 bucks and called it a day, but I was like, these seem a little more special. So yeah. I did look them up. I saw some solds in the 40 to 50, so I think I listed mine. I don't remember, 45 to 50. And with our sale running, buyer paid 41 46 plus shipping. Not bad. Sweet. Um, they're going to ship out in a shoebox, and I paid $7.99 for them. So. Yeah, that is an interesting top. Yeah. Upper. Feels really nice. It's like a nice... Like, yeah. Is that Nubik? Nubik? Nubuck? I don't know. Nubuck? I think it's Nubuck, but... Who knows? I don't know. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's so far today. What time is it? I don't have my watch on, right. so I don't even know. Um, it's 11.18, so we're kind of missing our post office. The one we like to go to is 11.30, so we're going to miss that. Yeah. Probably should check our P.O. box anyway, so I might... Yeah, actually, our viewer, Maria Mancini, oh, okay. left a comment. To check it. She's left a <laughs> multiple comments, okay. so we need to go check it, yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna be out of town next week so yeah check that before we so go. yeah we'll go check the p.o box and drop this stuff off today but we're gonna pack it up right now and i don't know on the off chance that there's another <laughs> sale that comes in while we're doing that yeah we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check back in all righty got everything packed up got these these are the boots this is the box we ended up using on the boots the ariettes and has anybody ran into this with a uh, dymo printer like I mean, we, we've been, I'm just covering the label with this, but we've been using the Dymo for a while and it just started happening to where, just out of nowhere. Right, like I wasn't even printing labels, it just started like printing those. It starts printing things. these gradient and pages. And if I didn't quickly unplug it, it would keep it would printing just keep them going, for a long probably. time, so. We, we've only had it happen. It's only two times now, but like the other one was last week, so it's like, seems like more and more now. And the last time it actually like rolled up in on itself yeah. and was like, it was weird. Yeah, it got itself jammed all up. So. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, has anybody ran into that? W we use them anyway when we're covering up old labels on recycled boxes, so it's not, like, that big of a problem. <laughs> but if we weren't here yeah, and it just went off, I feel like it would just burn through a whole roll, and that would kind of suck. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we tried to Google it, but not yeah. really finding anything specific. So, I don't know. That might be a, uh, a tipping point of why do we on why we maybe <laughs> try, try something else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We did have one more sale come through as yeah, we were so packing someone, things. So, DA, this person, well, I sent them an offer earlier, just like a normal watch. Offer to, like, a watcher? Yeah. Is that them? I mean, this one feels way heavier, but maybe <laughs> they just fold it differently. <laughs> Size seems right. Like, why is. Uh oh. One has a red bar and one has a blue bar. Right, so one says flat front and one says pleated, but I sold them together as a bundle, not realizing that. Mm. So I might have to message them. Mm. Very good in the label, which we can cancel. Right. Was it, also, was, like, they, because I had just put multi-quantity of two, thinking, you know, they're the same thing. Right. Um, so I had sent them an offer of 15 plus ship. They messaged, because they could see that I had two, saying, would I just do 40 total mm -hmm. shipping included for both pairs? So I said, yeah, I made them a bundle for that. They bought it. <laughs> but now I'm realizing they're slightly different. So I'm assuming they probably, I mean, if they like flat front, they might not want pleated. Or, right. Which one was it listed as? I think flat front. So. Flat front. Which yeah, they might not want the pleated, pleated so. so. I'll have to message. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, but if it goes through, it's a $40 free ship. And it's heavy together, though. It was a five-pound box going to WI Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Wisconsin? I don't know. I'm not even going to try it because I, I feel like a lot of people... It was $12.33 to ship a five-pound box out. So I was going to, like, net about 20 bucks on the sale because I had about three forty-four into each pair. Okay. So... But that might end up being through. canceled. Yeah. yeah I so. was going to send it out today, but now I doubt they'll answer before we have to get to the... It's already 12. Our post office... The other post office closes at 1, so... Yeah. Yeah, I might have to wait till Monday to go out or not go out, <laughs> put it back. I was so right. happy to get those puppy pants out of the box. Right, and yeah, you can kind of see here, closer look, pleated, flat front. Uh, other than that, they look almost identical, same size and everything, right? 
So that's a bummer. We'll have to figure <laughs> that out. I'm sure we'll keep yeah. you updated and posted as to what's going to happen there. Yeah, worst case. We yeah. List them. It's not a big deal. They'll sell again. I'll just need to make a separate listing for the pleated. So. Right. Yeah. But I think that's... <laughs> Other than that, that's it for today. That's it for today. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll go ahead and figure that out, and we'll update you later. But um, that's what's going out today. We're going to get this stuff off to the post office and check our P.O. box for oh, the first time in a while. But, yeah, thank guys, thank you so much for all the amazing viewer support today, guys. That is awesome, and we greatly appreciate that. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.